Hi, and welcome back. Today we will learn about three different functions in PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit. Get registry key, set registry key, and remove registry key. Couldn't we do this in native PowerShell? Yes, indeed we could, but it's very easy to do so in the PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit. And the other thing is very cool is that everything is logged in our central log file. Let's begin. Let's go into the project we've created in the session one, two, and three, where we learned about uh, functions with Notepad++, etc. If we start by going into the help um, and run that with PowerShell, we can actually see what's inside these functions. And then we can go into the get registry key. Here we get all the syntaxes that we need, and we can also go to all the um, examples here. So we need to go into the PowerShell main or deploy application script to edit that in ICE. We will start out in the last episode where we automated Notepad++. And if we go down to the installation phase, right here, we can start create code. So let's just for the example um, measure on, for example, we have a certain application installed. If I go to um, what add remove programs, we'll be able to see what I have installed on this device. In this example, I'm going to look at the Microsoft Update Health Tools, which provide and help expedite updates in Intune. I want to get the version and make sure that it is a proper version before I do something else. To be able to monitor what is in Admiral Programs, we can go into uh, the registry and we can go, if we go back to Micros Local Machine Software, Microsoft Windows uh, Current Version, there should be some uninstallation keys here. And if we go into the display name here, we will be able to see what exactly uh, the program is. And here we can see the Microsoft Update Health Tool. So this will be the key that we need to um, ask for. So if we copy the key name, bring it back to the portal here, now we have the key where to look, and um, then we need the function get registry key, and then a dash and a key, and we, oh, sorry, dash key, and then finalize this string, and we would like a value, and that value was the display version. All right, so if we run this code, we should be able to actually get that display version. As I showed you before, we are able to um, actually run the code. So let's just edit this also in the PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit, and then let's just run it, and it will contain errors, that's fine. And then let's try to mark this one, and press F8. And now you see I get the display version 47100, and that was also the display version that we saw in the code here, or in the registry here. Good. We need to put that into a variable, and uh, let's just call it Windows Health Tool version. And uh, now we have that in a variable. And I've cheated, so um, I would like to have a if sentence. So if this is greater or equal to 471, then we will show some text. Let's try it out. And it says we found a value and we execute next step. All right, 
what if we increment this value? Will we have the else instead then? Yes, indeed we will. And this way we can ask for information and then do stuff uh, in order to what we find on the client. So this is actually a very, very clever way to uh, ask for something and make sure that uh, these systems or apps or whatever you need is present before you do stuff. And if it's not present, then, well, fix it. And this is the way you can do that. Okay, I think you get the purpose of the get registry key and what you can do with that. Let's uh, go to the next um, function, which is the set registry key. And again, we have all the parameters, what is uh, optional and what is needed. And I like these examples just to go directly into uh, what this function is capable of doing. So we have a lot of uh, different uh, keys you can set in registry. And we can just briefly see what are those types. If we click new, you can see we have around six different pos uh, possibilities here. So um, can we do that in the toolkit? Yes, we can indeed. We go back here again. I cheated just so you can see how these different functions are actually working. And we have the first one, which is a D word. And the value is a simple like this. And the type here is, is just a D word. And uh, then we have the Q word, which actually also is a simple value. And a string, that's also a simple value. But now we have the binary. And then the value looks a bit uh, different here, right? So, uh, but um, now we can use this example to, to get it right the first time you need to set a binary key. Or maybe it's a multi-string key that you want to set. Then you set it like this. Or if it is a expanded string, then you use that parameter to or value to put in. Let's see how that works. And it should be set in our registry. So let's go into that one and into the current user software and demo. You can see I've set all these six different keys and how they are set. So this is the set registry key. Very simple and it just works. I really like it. But then sometimes you need to clean up and to clean up, you need the remove, uh, remove uh, registry key. And if we go back to the help, we have it here, remove registry key. Again, go into the specifications, look at what you need to set. In this case, I just want to remove the whole folder and not a simple key. You can do that by specifying the name of it, but I could also just um, give it the actual folder and then it will remove all the keys beneath it. How do we specify that? We get set the remove registry key function and then point it to current user software demo. And then we run that and see how that looks like. And if we refresh this, you can see my demo is gone. So I have cleaned up after myself. This is how we can get information from our client in registry, how we can set registry values in the six different categories of registry keys, and how we can clean up after ourselves. I hope you learned something today. In the next demo, we will look into how we can add current user registries into all the users on our device. I hope to see you there. Until then, have a great day.